Hi, good afternoon all and thank you so much for joining today's exclusive webinar. My name is Ashish Asthana. So with a lot of uh, feedbacks and a lot of customers demand have come, we have received so many emails and messages that we should conduct a exclusive session on technical analysis, right? So we have many of our customers who want to graduate from mutual funds. They want to now take an exposure to direct equity or they want to know how does the technical analysis works so that they can make more informed decision. So considering that as a need of the hour, we are conducting today's exclusive session on technical analysis, especially for beginners, right? And to do the honors, we from our research team, we have Mr. Nagaraj Shetty, who is our technical analyst. I'm sure you would have seen many of his uh, videos uh, uh, on our youtube channel as well as on news channels right so today we will be doing this exclusive session so nagaraj over to you people are waiting hi uh, ashish uh, thank you and uh, hi good afternoon all i'm nagaraj uh, one of the technical research analysts at jetri securities uh, today we are going to learn about the primer of the technical analysis which is a basic in the sense you know the technical analysis is a vast subject cannot be completed in a one webinar or a one session this is just a, a, a study for a beginners and um, uh, ashish uh, uh, now uh, tell me uh, uh, people really think that technical works or uh, uh, people do follow technicals while in their trading that's a good question. Let us ask from our customers itself. So I have a quick poll for all of you guys. This poll will be on your screen now. Do you think technical analysis work? So this poll is on your screen now. It will be on for next 20 seconds and post that we will share the results with you. So great participation. I can see people have joined in really large and uh, you know, it will definitely would be an interactive session. So poll is about to close and uh, Nagaraj, here are the results. I'll share on the computer screen of all of our viewers. About 91% of the investors of the uh, customers who are watching right now says yes, right? Still about about 9%, maybe they are beginner, they are unaware about it. So probably they are saying no. But yeah, if you ask me, 91% of the customers are saying yes. Yes, uh, Ashish, thank you. And uh, we'll start the... Uh... Um, webinar and uh, can you please uh, share the uh, sure sure I will share yeah. the computer screen so that the, all our yeah. viewers can watch can this watch. presentation and uh, we can begin the session I'll turn off the cam so that they can have a better view Oh, this is the first slide which you can see here and uh, yes yes friends we will start uh, the concept of technical analysis uh, for the beginners uh, you can see it on a slide um, first second slide what is the technical analysis you know friends the technical analysis is a tool or method forecasting the future direction of the price Normally, uh, you can see the technical analysis mainly derived from the price and the volume, right? From the price, you can forecast the trend, you can see the pattern, you can see the um, price movement, so many things. We will study one by one in our slide for the next 30 minutes. How different, how it is different from the fundamental analysis? Technical analysis and the fundamental analysis, these terms are two different stock picking methodologies. methodologies. And uh, in uh, fundamentals, uh, we see uh, the lot of data, uh, which is the uh, growth of the uh, growth potential of the stock uh, and uh, P ratio, EPS uh, valuation, so many things. Everything, whole data bunch will be there. We will study the uh, the whole data concept in the fundamental analysis, and we derive the stock trend. But in the technical analysis, main is the price and the volume. We use different tools and techniques in the price and derive. We derive different different uh, patterns. On that patterns, we can understand that uh, underlying trend and the trading methodologies, uh, risk reward, everything we can. Uh, do it from the technical analysis by applying it. What are the benefits of using technical analysis? Technical analysis is able to tell you where to exit and enter uh, the patterns. As a traders, you need to have a right entry or a right exit 
uh, for the uh, uh, profit uh, potential of your trade. If you don't exit in a right time, if you don't enter in a right time, definitely you'll end up uh, your trade with a loss. So it is very essential for the traders to have a proper timing. So it will tell you proper application of the technical analysis will tell you when to enter and when to exit and where to place the stop loss. It gives it insights also demand and supply situation as per the volume. You can see the volumes volumes on the basis of the volume. You can see the where the demand is emerging, how the uh, stock trend is moving up, showing its maturity with the performance of the with the pattern of the volumes so that you can derive whether to exit, whether to uh, remain in the stocks or the things. What are the downside of the technical analysis at times? Uh, downside downside in the sense there are not uh, so much downside in the uh, technical technical analysis see different different tools uh, where uh, uh, you can uh, you can be confused see if you are using the tools and technique uh, techniques in the technical analysis analysis and if you use uh, so many uh, indicators you'll be confused which indicator to use you know, sometimes there are sometimes there's so many indicators gives in confusing signals you'll be confused to enter your trade and you'll be in a, a wrong trade and end up with this loss this is one drawback second the application of the technical analysis software yeah application of the pattern in a right way if you understand the pattern in a different concept you apply it and you uh, initiated your trade Definitely, there is a higher possibility of you will end up with a loss because of uh, not applying this concept properly. These are certain things that uh, some some uh, drawbacks where uh, you can see uh, that uh, uh, technical using a technical or by mistake of using technical analysis, which will uh, lead to some losses in the as concept of, as as far as trading is concerned. What are the downside? This is of uh, downside of the fundamental analysis. This is uh, more related to the fundamentals. Better we will skip this and we'll go to the next uh, um, uh, slide. How to benefit more of a fundamental lens by using technical analysis. So this also I, I don't think which is uh, necessary uh, with, with this discussion. Using next slide is using technical analysis on the fundamental data. data. See friends, there are uh, certain things. There are certain people use. Uh, uh, in the fundamental, uh, the people use fundamental data into technicals. For example, P ratio or P, uh, price to uh, book value ratio. That ratio you can make it to a chart. By using that chart, you can derive whether that uh, fundamental, uh, that uh, particular um, uh, concept is really working, particular uh, uh, that uh, study is really working on the market or not. There are certain people uses, but I don't think there are. This is the major concept of the using technical analysis on the fundamental data. What is the Doe theory? Now let's come down to uh, the pure technical basis. The Doe, Charles Doe, the person who invented the Doe theory, he says the market uh, moves in a, a certain theory, certain uh, labels. What is what does it mean? He says that market uh, moves in a certain rising peaks and troughs. What is rising peaks and troughs? And also he also says that it's a accumulation, participation, and distribution. First, we'll understand what is rising peaks and troughs. See, friends, you can see the trend. You can see the uh, stock price rising or declining. How it rises? That Charles Do say, uh, says that if the prices moves up in a higher tops and higher bottoms, higher peaks and higher troughs. That is a strength sign of the strength of the uptrend. What does it mean? What does it mean really? Because when a stock price moves up, moves up, then profit booking encounters it shows the minor correction, makes a higher bottom. What does it mean? Makes a higher bottom means the whole content of the buying will be remain there. A small portion is liquidated as terms of the profit booking. Again, the stock price moves up to forms a new higher top and makes a higher bottom. The whole thing signals the accumulation, whole accumulation is going on. The profit booking is less and less, which indicates the strength of the trend. That means that clearly suggests that trend strength of that particular stock, particular underlying is increasing, which is a better uh, indication to judge to create a long position. At the same time, this is uptrend, I told, at the same time in the downtrend. Prices moves into lower levels. It shows some profit booking of the short positions, makes a, a lower high, forms the 
uh, shot again enters into the lower high, again declines. This lower tops and lower bottom is indication of a sign of a strength of a downtrend. As per this, so and the second thing is accumulation, distribution, and participation and distribution. What is accumulation? Accumulation always happens at the lower levels where the stocks moves from the strong, sorry, weak hands to a strong hands. In that downtrend, accumulation happens. Weak hands transfer the uh, stocks to the strong hands. Strong hands accumulated. The prices started uh, starts to move up. Then the, we'll see the participation. It will be, that will be visible to everyone. People see that yes, market has started. That particular started its trend. Then every participation comes from the all across the board. Then the distribution comes. Distribution again the change in hand from the strong hands to weak hand. We can still believe that market will move up further. Then the whole distribution uh, pattern takes place and markets ends up with the whole rally and moves into correction, turns into correction. This is the whole concept. What, I, what does it mean in the dose theory? Friends, we'll see uh, the next slide. Uh, types of charts. See, you can see so many, there are so many types of charts. Uh, we will study uh, the one by one types of charts. First is a line chart. You can see this is simply a line where uh, it is drawn that this line chart is derived from the uh, joining of the closing prices. Normally in the candlestick, we use four uh, types of uh, data in the price open, high, low, close. But in the line chart, we use only a closing. Closing will be added and line will be derived on the basis of line chart the people use see the trend you can clearly see the trend here after moving into consolidation the trend is moving up the next is the important concept of the chart is the candlestick chart i'll tell you something about the candlestick because you know the friends in the candlestick charts the most of the people around 75 80 percent of the people use candles I'll tell you uh, some insight about the candles, candlestick terminology. This candlestick terminology looks like a candle. How it derived? It derived from the Japan. The people in the Japan in 1700, 1800 uh, period, there was a feudal system in Japan. The people have started to use this candlestick terminology. Most of the candlestick pattern, it is widely spread. Most of the candlestick patterns and candlestick terminology, terminology was used in Japan until 19th century when it uh, uh, brought back to the Western world. I'll tell you something about the candles. You can see the candles, colored candles. What does it mean? This is open, high, low and close. If today's close is higher than yesterday, then there will be a blue candle. Blue candle indicates the uptrend. If there is a red candle, then previous close is lower than today's close is lower than previous close then it is a downtrend it do mean that that particular day's trend is down we will see something more uh, uh, patterns about the candlestick terminology and i will uh, tell you one by one about this so we can see here the candles red and uh, uh, blue candles uh, where uh, you can see the bigger candles smaller candles and uh, different different types of candles Japanese people have given their names like doji, hammer, as per their uh, culture and still uh, those uh, patterns persist. And this candlestick chart can be used uh, for any time frame. You can use it for 1 minute, 5 minute, 15 minutes, 30, 60 minutes, 1 day, weekly chart, monthly, yearly and so on. So what is our trend? In candlestick a chart in the next slide what's that trend you can see clearly you can see as you are following technical analysis you believe that technical analysis works for the market for the trading you can clearly see that trend the first left one you can see clear uptrend and the right one you can see a clear downtrend the pattern is very visible in the candlestick chart so what is downtrend market you can see it in the chart the the particular stock uh, slipped into decline, moved into consolidation, broken above the resistance and moved in a sideways band and started its uptrend. So important of volumes. As friends, as I told you, uh, volume and price are the most essential uh, for the technical analysis. 
so technical analysis basically derived uh, from the price and the volume price we can use open high low close we can derive uh, by using all this data a candle or a bar whatever it is but volume will show you a uh, demand and supply of the stock if uh, friends uh, you can see a long candle if let's take a long bull candle forms on the particular day in that stocks and with a rise in volume which certainly indicate that strength of the uptrend means that participation was strong with the rise in volume in the same way we can see a red candle on the downside with rise in volume this will clearly indicate the build up of short position on the downside which is means this candlestick terminology and uh, this volume both are correlated we will study more uh, candlestick patterns uh, again Uh, next slide shows the arithmetic versus logarithmetic that is which is not important one i believe that people use logarithmic logarithmic scale and some people use semi log scale uh, depends on the long term analysis people use log scale and uh, for short term analysis i believe people use uh, semi log scale that is uh, that doesn't have any uh, bigger importance in the technical analysis so next slide is support and resistance you know support and resistance is what you can see the draw of that uh, trend line drawing on that uh, support means every uh, low that stocks if the stocks shows any low and that low respects particularly in that in coming sessions or coming uh, periods that area will be considered as a value area here you can see the long uh, uptrend line has been drawn uh, was drawn in that uh, 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 lower levels and uh, and continuously after hitting that support uh the stock is moving up which clearly indicates that becomes value area resistance similar thing as support the similar concept is a resistance where market is declining where showing in in between highs and uh, resistance created on that particular area is also shown as a considered as a value area on the resistance side on the sell side we can use that area as a resistance where uh, you can create a short positions and one more thing uh, friends uh, support and resistance as per the concept of change in polarity in this slide you can see the support line connecting the resistance line what does it mean means the support line has been created in number 1 you can see it in the left side chart the stock has moved up up to number 2 and slipped into decline broken that support in number 3 and again moved up in number 4 you know stocks moves up in a lower tops and lower bars similar fashion and what we can see here let's assume number 1 is a 100 after uh, reaching the 100 level the stock has moved up to number 2 where it is 110 again came down to 100 and broken that support that 100 level has been broken and gone down to 80 which is the third level again it's moved up short covering then this uptrend has resisted at the 100 level as i told you previous broken area of that 100 now is becoming a resistance this role reversal pattern is called as a change in polarity this has very good significance in the technical analysis where the previous broken areas of the support and resistance acts as a role as role reversal here you can see in this chart supports where uh, multiple supports at the same value area where after hitting this value area uh, the prices is moving up bouncing up where you can clearly uh, define so this is the one area where support and resistance uh, uh, where you can place your orders or i'll tell you something about uh, the support and resistance friends uh, when you uh, initiate a trade uh, mainly uh, based on the support and uh, resistance most people uh, initiate the trade on the based on the support and resistance when the stock price uh, come down to support initially what we will do you will draw the support and resistance in your chart when you have a chart of the particular stock you draw you will predefinedly you will draw your support this is the support line yeah this is the resistance line when the stock price comes down to support form some reversal signs then you create a long positions wait for uh, some confirmation then place a stop loss below this support and the stock moves up here in the chart the stock has moved up from the support you can create you can hold the long position for some time being and wait for the resistance you can define the predefined resistance if the stock price hit the resistance then the area you have to look for the book profit or exit 
whatever whatever uh, your uh, uh, profit potential may be a small or maybe a large depend on the risk and reward you can exit your long position and the same way you can wait for uh, 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 stock price to come down to the prior support or you can add a short position and that resistance that is the main key trading concept if you are trading uh, if you are a whole time trader if you are an investor in all the time frame this simple technique of support and resistance have has a uh, more weightage if you look at all the time frame chart if you look at 30 minutes chart if you look at daily charts weekly charts hourly charts or yearly charts this support and resistance works very well in your trading system you can have a sudden look about that i will show you the uh, next uh, slide about the support and resistance See, after the support resistance, uh, we'll come down to the pattern, important pattern, a major reversal pattern. You can read it head and shoulders, which is uh, resembling uh, resembling to a human uh, a body where head and shoulders are used. The similar kind of a chart pattern used, bullish head and shoulder, bearish head and shoulders. Friends, you can see it uh, from the lower chart. Uh, three uh, uh, peaks are there where uh, it resembles a uh, human shoulder and human head initial shoulder will be considered as a, a, a left side shoulder and uh, initial rise next rise will be considered as a head and the next third one is a considered as a, a, a right side shoulder which is the end of the um, pattern i'll tell you how it works so you must have heard uh, the uh, head and shoulders what is the head and shoulders and how it works in the shoulder you have seen in the chart when the initial head initial rise forms you say that it is a shoulder but shoulder will not be confirmed until the three patterns will be formed initial uh, rise will form with the uh, with the shoulder and the next head means the people initially the people will think it's a top it come down to the support and moves up and makes a new high the people will say yes the new high will be formed again the uh, stock price uh, doesn't sustain at the high levels scale down to the support level same support and again moves up for the third one but remember the third high is a shorter high to the second high the whole thing if you look at the chart resembles a human shoulder head and shoulder if you add a volume in the head and shoulder pattern which is very very significant remember in the whole head and shoulder pattern in the left shoulder forms the volume has to be high when the head forms volume has to be volume should be drawn up volume volume has to be low and the third uh, shoulder forms when it breaks below this uh, neckline the volume has to pick up this uh, uh, head and shoulder pattern has a profit potential on the downside actually head and shoulder you can see it from the slide as well head and shoulder is a top reversal pattern and uh, the right line you can see is a neckline which is very very important support line when eventually this neckline will be uh, moved uh, broken on the lower side and the pro profit potential of the whole neckline will be considered the high of the head to the neckline suppose neckline you can consider as 100 rupees and the head of is 120 rupees then you can say on the downside breakout of the neckline of the 100 the profit potential the downside potential for the lower level is 20 rupees 120 which is on the downside is around 80 this is the profit potential similarly inverted head and shoulders same duplicate to the inverted head and shoulders on the upside breakout the similar uh, kind of uh, means uh, range of the head and uh, the up to the um, neckline will be taken as a profit potential on the upper side next we will see the triple tops and bottoms you can see triple tops is uh, easy to identify where the same price the the price is again again hitting if three times the price is hitting the same area and declining we can consider as a triple top and um, same way double tops double bottoms and triple bottom also same the same value area when it becomes when the stock price hits uh, thrice in that same value area it becomes triple top same similar kind of uh, similar uh, theory applies to the double tops and bottoms as well next we can we will see the continuation patterns what is continuation pattern after moving up the stock price shifts into consolidation stock price uh, shifted uh, means uh, moves into a, a pause phase 
after this means uh, in the consolidation it normally forms a triangular type, triangle type of a pattern or a consolidation type of patterns we can see what are the triangle type of patterns here we'll see the we'll change this to huh. we'll see now the slide is symmetrical pattern what has happened friends you can see it in the chart after moving into a uh, new highs around 1117118 the stock stock price has shifted into a narrow range you can draw it a uh, line from upper uh, ascending sorry ascending trend line and descending trend line where the whole range becomes narrow and once that narrow range breaks out the the we can say it's a upside breakout of the triangle and the higher side higher side of the triangle will be considered as a profit potential similarly ascending and descending triangle ascending triangle is like uh, its uh, stock price is moving up and continuously hits the upper range upper area where one place where one resistance it continuously hits the resistance you can see it clearly from the left side uh, chart and uh, uh, after hitting that eventually it breaks out of that uh, uh, hold uh, says this thing and uh, you can uh, see uh, the profit uh, potential upside of the whole bigger side of this triangle into the next upper level descending triangle it forms in a downtrend it moves in a range continuously hits the support you can define the support area if it continuously hits the support and forms a lower low eventually it breaks below the support and downside breakout can be calculated with the higher range of the triangle next the wedge wedge is also similar kind of a thing where after move, after a sharp movement friends you can see some consolidation after a sharp movement you can in the left side the chart you can see some falling wedge but the stock price moves in a consolidation moves in a range before showing a further upside in this uh, wedge in this wedge left side is considered as a, a positive trend continuation patterns rising wedge when the prices rises in a wedge in a downtrend it pauses its trend for a temporary basis after it moving below this wedge when rises wedge eventually shows a downside breakout and falling wedge normally shows the upside breakouts friends we can see the flags and pennants will be um, interesting this will be interesting to see the what is the flags flags are the things it's a kind of a consolidation how we have discussed about the triangle in this flag the market or the stocks moves in a, a consolidation in a range in a downside sloping range upside sloping range this flag is a trend continuation patterns this flag bullish flag pattern normally forms in a uptrend market moves in a consolidation after it breaks above uh, the uh, trend a similar way in the uh, bearish flag pennant is a small thing a small consolidation normally it breaks out on the upper side when it forms in a uptrend forms in, breaks out in the lower side when it forms in a downtrend we will go to we will go to the next slide ha huh. pennant we have discussed the pennant rectangle pattern rectangle pattern is a uh, rectangle you can clearly understand the two levels of the uh, price movement Uh, you can say in the price is 100 upper side is a 100 lower side is a 90 the stock price you know what happened continuously hits the upper side 100 and continuously takes the support of lower side 90 hits 100 lower side 90 hits 100 and takes support 90 this rectangle pattern eventually breaks into a uh, downside or upside depend on the trend now we will see uh, the moving averages moving averages friends is a simple uh, average where uh, the closing price will be taken in a uh, moving way in a particular way if you are using a 100 day moving average 100 day uh, for 100 period the closing price will be taken and it will be uh, moving in a certain way the moving averages depends on the average the, it is widely spread uh, uh, support and resistance lines people use 200 day moving average it's a simple average and some complicated average also there which is the exponential average if it if that particular stocks continuously takes the support hits the support finds a resistance in the way moving average that has a that carries a significance where you can see uh, usage of this uh, moving average now go on to the bollinger bands john bollinger has created this band he has created two bands with the uh, two uh, standard deviation with a simple moving average of 20 days in between where you can see uh, the upper band is showing some resistance lower band is showing some profits uh, sorry uh, supports and the break off of the uh, middle band creates the some uh, trend moment 
after that the oscillators will come down to the oscillators rate of change is a simple oscillators where uh, 0 to 100 uh, places will be there and 100 will be uh, 95 to 100 will be considered as a overbought and uh, 0 to 10 considered as a uh, or sold the important relative uh, strength index will discuss something about that rsi rsi is very important predominant uh, 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 indicator widely used by the people where you can see 70 and 30s uh, levels uh, above normally uh, as per the rsi is concerned uh, the stock price moving above 65 70 indicates uh, strength in the upside stocks moving below uh, the rsi moving below uh, 35 40 indicates the strength in a downside which is very popularly used as a upside and uh, downside levels for the stocks stochastic next stochastic is a simple indicator where you can see the stochastic moving average showing a uh, positive crossovers negative crossover indications and MACD is also another thing where you can see the crossover signals, where you can generate the signal, where you can generate the trade as basis of the crossover signal, that is a uh, positive crossover or a negative crossover. Next is Elliott wave theory. Friends, Elliott wave theory is a, a big concept as far as technical is concerned. It cannot be completed within one, one slide or within one session. I'll tell you Elliott wave basically forms the eight, eight waves. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 2, 3. This 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you can see from the chart. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, higher highs will be called as a um, uh, impulsive, and 1, 2, 3 will be called as a corrective. This uh, mainly suggests that trend. So uh, finally, uh, we, uh, we will come down to the uh, last uh, but not least, which one? The smaller things about the money management and trading rules. Friends, the money management and trading tools has a lot of significance. We are not here teaching you all things, everything about the money management. These are small tips about the money management and trading rules. I'll tell you one by one in a small way, in a small brief view. What should be the size of the each trade? You should define while you are a trader, while you are trading, you should define should be the what should be the size of the trade. How much you can stagger the buying. You cannot stagger the buying at all times. Because you know in the fundamental news, you can see uh, the stock price falling like anything. You can you can't stagger on every labels. You, you have to see the trend sign. You can limit the stagger buying. How many different trades should carry at one top point of time? Should not be a, a should not be a more trade. You should be in a small trade in a proper size where you can easily monitor and uh, exit. You can exit properly. What should be the proportion between the different asset classes? That depends on you equity, debt, and uh, commodity. How much leverage should one take? Depends on your risk and reward ratio at how much profit you would like to know and how much profit in between. Prior to would like to have how much loss you can have as a stop loss. Diverse, diversification, reward uh, to risk and ratio, which is very, very important thing in the technical analysis. Before start of the trading, you have to have a risk reward ratio. If you are taking a reward of 10,000, you can have a risk up to five or 6,000 because it has to be like that. Because if you are incurring the loss more than 10,000, at the end of the day, end of the month, end of the year, your whole PNL balance will be a zero or will be minus. When to take profits, very, very, very important. We have discussed today when to take profit by using support and resistance, using trend chart patterns, using uh, trends uh, where after moving uh, above the support, and uh, when hitting at the support uh, resistance, you have to take the profits. You have to wait for the some reversal to come down. So these are the things, whether profit should be taken one time or spread, depends on you. If you are an investor, if you are a trader, if you are a trader, you can take a profit at one slot. If you are an investor, you can wait for a six months, three months. Then you can wait for partial profit at strong resistance. You can define a resistance at the as per your technical study. Where it is a smaller resistance, you can take partial profit. After moving above, you can take remaining profit. What should be the next uh, next question? What should be the individual stop loss and overall stop loss? It's very very important thing. Friends, without stop loss, you should not trade. You have to have a stop loss all the times with your trade. How much should one to take uh, check whipsaws? Whipsaws are always be there in the technical. You have to be very particular in that. And friends, uh, this is the end uh, of the small brief of learners. Uh, this technical analysis, I think you have benefited uh, something. Now I'll uh, um, uh, hand over this to my friend uh, Ashish. 
Thanks, Naraj. I'm sure that this was really a great session today, as it was the beginning. This was the first session that we have, uh, you know, come up with, wherein uh, we have taken up this kind of a uh, uh, webinar on exclusively for our beginners to start with technical analysis. Definitely, this is the first step for viewers. We would be coming up with more such series. You know, if you have any suggestion, any feedback, you you know, most welcome to post it. You can email us. You can you know, uh, send us a Facebook message or whatever may be the convenient mode of communication we will be definitely we are here to help you and to ensure that you have the best of the best trading experience with knowledge so that you can take more informed decision so just for your information pro terminal is what we have launched as an advanced trading platform as i can see people have joined in large so i would request kindly check with your relationship manager or just log on uh, to your online portal and access this pro terminal because there we have advanced trading it's an advanced trading platform wherein we are you can see those tech technical charts you can apply up to 89 studies in that and add up to five studies at a time you can make drawings you can do trend line and you can take an informed decision right so along with that information we are also providing you a platform wherein you can take advantage of it and you can stay benefited right and this webinar if you have missed out not to worry because this webinar would be available on the same link after an hour's time so by 130 types you can simply log on to the same uh, link and you can watch the recording. But if you're watching from a mobile application, simply you have to open it through a browser because application is to only to watch the live webinars. The go to webinar app is to watch live webinars. Recording can be accessed through a, uh, your uh, web browser that can be Chrome or maybe a Safari. Or if you are watching it from a laptop or a computer, then absolutely no problem. Simply click on the same registration link after an hour and you can uh, watch it out. Right. So thank you so much, Nagaraj, for uh, for this session. And let me see that where, where was this session helpful for all of our investors. So you have guys an option of raising hand. If you can quickly click on raise hand, I can see how many of them have raised their hand and they actually found this session as helpful. So great participation. I can see Mr. Abhijit Sen Gupta, Mr. Abhijit Sharma, Mr. Abhir Das, Mr. Aditya, Mr. Akash Gupta, Mr. Afsal Gupta, Mr. Altaf, Mr. Amit Kumar, Mr. Arun. Mr. Ayush Pandey and the speed is increasing with the lightning speed. Mr. Girish Kulkarni, Mr. Girish uh, Pandey, Mr. Dharmendra Singh, Mr. Dinesh, Mr. Uh, Gangadhar and so on. Thank you so much viewers. This really motivates us to come up with more and more such session to uh, do it. And as I've already share, you know, informed you, do share your suggestion and feedback. Thank you so much for joining in. Thank, Thank you, you. Thank And you. I wish you all have a great weekend ahead. And on Monday onwards, let it be a fruitful trading day. Thank you. Bye-bye.